learning objectives of this lecture are classify leukocytes what are the stages of the formation of leukocytes and what are the properties of various types of leukocytes assalamu now we will move on to the wbcs wbcs are also called as leukocytes first of all we must know the following properties of the leukocytes leukocytes are also called as the soldiers of the body because they protect our body from the infectious agents. On the basis of staining, they are differentiated into two types, granulocytes and agranulocytes. Granulocytes are of three types, neutrophils, eosinophils, and basophils, while agranulocytes are monocytes and lymphocytes. So, what is the normal count of the WBC? It is 4,000 to 11,000 per cubic millimeter. These are the properties of the WBCs. They have amoeboid movement, which is just like amoeba, because they send out pseudopodias in all directions and then whole body moves toward it. Next is the margination. Margination is defined as WBCs are lined up at the wall of the blood vessel mostly on the surface of the endothelial cell. What is diabetes? It is the moving out of the WBCs to the pores and go towards the site of infection. What is chemotaxis? Chemotaxis is the attraction of the WBCs towards the source of infection. And this phagocytosis is the engulfment or the digestion of the invading agent, for example, bacteria. Now, the genesis of the white blood cell. We know that all blood cells are formed in the bone marrow from the pluripotent hematopoietic stem cells. So, this is the myeloblast which is formed by the pluripotent hematopoietic stem cells. It will further differentiate into the promyelocyte and the promyelocyte will give rise to the megakaryocyte and this megakaryocyte will ultimately convert it into the platelets. This promyelocyte it will form three types of cell lines either myelocyte neutrophil, myelocyte eosinophil, and the myelocyte basophil. This myelocyte will further differentiate it into the metamyelocyte eosinophil, metamyelocyte neutrophil, and the basophil. And this metamyelocyte cell will ultimately form polymorphonuclear neutrophils, polymorphonuclear eosinophils, and the polymorphonuclear basophils. And these are the stages for the monocytes formation. We will see the properties of the WBCs separately. First of all, neutrophil. The count of the WBC is 50 to 70 percent. Its size is 10 to 14 micrometer and the lifespan is 9 to 10 days. Its nucleus consists of 2 to 5 lobes. It is multi-lobe nucleus. Arnip count is the age of the cell is determined by the number of the lobes. More the number of the lobes, more is the age of the cell. Its cytoplasm has a granular appearance. That is why they are classified as granulocyte. Its most important phagocytic agent, it has a role in inflammation. Activity neutrophil is a killing machine. We will see how the neutrophils perform phagocytosis. Whenever any bacteria or any agent invades the body, neutrophil first attaches itself to the particle. It then project pseudopodia in all directions. Pseudopodia then will fuse with each other in the opposite direction. It will result in the formation of an enclosed chamber. This enclosed chamber contains the phag phagocytic vesicle. This chamber containing the phagocytic vesicle will invaginate to the interior and it then breaks away from the cell membrane to form a phagocytic vesicle. Once a foreign particle has been phagocytosed, the lysosomes or the other granules which are present inside the neutrophils come in contact with the phagocytic vesicle and they dump their digestive enzymes into the vesicle, resulting in the formation of a digestive vesicle. The lysosomes or the other granules which are present inside the cytoplasm will phagocytose the or destroy the bacteria or the infectious agents. In addition to the these lysosomes, neutrophils also contain such bactericidal agents, for example, powerful oxidizing agents, which were formed by the peroxisomes. These oxidizing agents may be superoxide, it can be hyperoxide, hydrogen peroxide or the 
hydroxyl ions. Also present within the lysosomes is the most important myeloperoxidase enzyme, which catalyzes the uh, reaction between the CO2. Also present in the lysosomal enzymes, most important is the myeloperoxidase enzyme. This myeloperoxidase catalyzes the reaction between hydrogen peroxide and the chloride ions, and it will form hypochlorite, which is extremely bactericidal. So it engulfs and destroys the infectious agents. Now, the eosinophils. Its count is 1 to 4%. Its nucleus is bilobed. Its cytoplasm contains acetophilic granules. If we stain the WBCs with the Leishman stain, then eosinophils will contain red dye, which is called as acetophilic dye. So, Eosinophilic, eosinophils will stain with acidic dye. They have a shorter half-life. They are mostly located in the, in the mucosa of the GIT, respiratory tract, and the urinary tract. What are the functions of the eosinophils? It is weakly phagocytic. It detoxifies products of the allergic reactions. For example, histamine, bradykinine, and the serotonin. It helps in the engulfment of the antigen antibody complexes. It is also involved in the resolution of tissues. For example, in the removal of the waste product or the debris or in the dissolution of the blood clot. 